Oh, that was class. One of the best England performances in a good few years. So it wasn't that bad, actually. It wasn't that yeah. bad, it was just getting yeah. into the initial uh, ticketing. Yeah. I think there was a bit of a queue there, probably took us 20 minutes, 30 minutes. Um, security held it up, but once we got through there, hopefully it's just teething problems. Yeah. Was your app working okay? My app wasn't, but... No, no, mine no. Wasn't, no. I right think that was the, the issue. Minute. Yeah, right to the last minute, it was like my ticket wasn't ready, and I was I think like, that's the issue, think, yeah. is they've banned the drinking, so people are drinking elsewhere coming in last minute, and then you're relying on the Bluetooth to let a load of fans in last minute. Yeah. And I think that's probably where it let it down today. <laughs> um, I thought they really pulled out the bag. It was a bit of a slow start, but um, once they got going, they really got going and they just couldn't stop them really. So, yeah. Yeah, uh, got going. Uh, real good game. Ease us in. Iran, uh, second half, really weren't there for us, but we took it over and we had the few changes on. Rashford came on second half, got a goal in really quick time. And we took it from there. There was a few. Um, yeah, I mean, I think they they did well today, um, but I don't know if they're going to perform as well with the other teams. Um, maybe we can only hope, but uh, yeah, we'll see. Next to our most challenging ones. Hopefully, Maguire's injury is not too bad because he looked quite solid today and just finding his confidence. Um, yeah, and we'll see that. But it set us up well. Got our goal difference up as well. So if it becomes tighter towards the end of group stages we've got the goals in the bag now haven't we i have faith in them come on england <laughs> <laughs> the idea is that as you said we were expecting all that negativity but flat back five but no goals football intensity and strangely enough a comfortable win yeah i mean and they, they kept yeah going. yeah but you've got to be fair to were they a, a, an opposition that really tested us? Probably not. But we love the idea that we score goals. Football's all about scoring goals. And we got to see something. So. It was like the score in the end. We left before the end. But yeah, I mean, if we'd have carried on, it could have been eight or nine. But we'll settle for that. Fantastic performance. Can't really criticise anyone. Just thought everyone was pretty faultless, apart from the goal. Well, I think we've got to tighten up a little bit at the back still. Always worries me, that back four, a little bit. But going forward, I don't think there's anyone better than us. And we've got some quality players there. Um, yeah, yeah, we smashed it. 6-2. Yeah, better than we expected. I mean, England took their chances when they came along, defended well, kept the ball well. It's like a great, uh, a great performance, really. They just bossed it the whole way, from what I could see. Yeah, I guess the impressive... Story when players like Foden came on. Foden was just hungry to score a goal. I mean, what a uh, what a thing to face if you're the opponent. If you're four one down, somebody like Foden comes on. I mean, it was a uh, all the way from beginning to end. Can't forget it? about Grealish and Grealish and Kane. <laughs> oh, Kane didn't score. You have to delete that part. Kane no, didn't it's score. It's Grealish scored. Right. Yeah, Grealish scored. Yeah, Grealish got <laughs> so number five. Yeah, in terms of you're not counting chickens just yet. Well, if they play like that, they'll win the whole thing. Really? Yeah, England could win. They have the talent here to win the World Cup. However. I know, it's what shows up in the 90 minutes, isn't it?